Polish, thank you so much for joining us. What's, what is the significance of this election for Eastern Ukraine in particular, and for areas bordering on areas held you know, by the DNR and LNR, or even for Crimea there, which is directly held by Russia? Well, I see you know, the significance is very similar to the general Ukraine elections, because basically what we see is that Russia, there is no more pro-Russia uh, elites, and Russia needs to recreate um, uh, that elite, and this is a certain step. Um, to, to recreate or, or, or forming a new political elite which would be able to lead or govern. So uh, how are they trying to create that, that new well, elite? Well, elections, replaced. like basically okay. getting, getting elections in place. So in, from, that, from that particular viewpoint, that they want to hold elections are not necessarily uh, a bad thing. The issue is the conduct of the elections, how exactly it's going to be conducted, it's going to be like in Crimea, it's going to be like the referendum, mm -hmm. which they put together, obviously it's going to be under weapons, you know, and what kind of people will be picked as, uh, you know, these are the significant So you mean questions. the local elections in the LNR and the uh, DNR? Right, right, yes. right exactly. Mm -hmm. So, but, the, but, the, but, but the actually, like, getting new people into governance position or government position is the goal who obviously representing that particular viewpoint. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, from that viewpoint, it's very similar. To, to, to the I mean to the to the significance of the Ukraine elections, fresh blood. If you like, I know mm -hmm. it sounds my son from the from a, it's a little uh, vampiric. Uh, exactly, <laughs> the, from a Western Ukrainian viewpoint, it's like Jesus Christ was kind of blood. And you know, and you see, I mean, like like taxi drivers who are fighting right among mm -hmm. the local population. I mean, these are these are underclass uh, people. These are people who were coming from down. And now they're going to be the new elite. So you know, it might obviously it, it's it's it seems for many very scary. Mm -hmm. But these guys are in charge and will be in charge. And you know, even there, Russia is one of the factors. If you look at the experience of the of the frozen conflict scenario, you can actually see that not, the Russians will are not actually getting through necessarily all the time, or not or most of the time in Transnistria, in Sarasate, in Abkhazia. This is really the local elites who, you know kind of mm. running the show, and I think we're going to see these local actors. Well, do you uh, think we'd see a new, a new local face emerging then in Donetsk and Luhansk? Uh, they're only going to be new faces. The issue mm. is what these new faces are going to do. And what they have to say. You know, like <laughs> segregated taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Or like the, I don't know who, you know, like, but mm. these guys obviously have no political experience and, and, and they will be imitating the old Soviet models, which actually mm. would be happening even during their rain even mm. now. I mean, you know, like they, they, they're getting the Soviet star stamps, you know, they're getting a formally a Soviet. But why are they going for those Soviet images? Stamp. Is that because it's seen as a glory period for those because, areas? Because that's what they understand and that's what they remember. And for them, that was the period when actually they were equal. That was the period when they get better lives. That was the period when they were actually so that's what they need to better somebody mm. than and that's 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 this is the where does the nostalgia is coming from, I believe. Hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Sure. Very interesting to hear your opinion.